Welcome back to the Fuller Fanatic channel. Today, I'm very pleased to say I finally added the Steelcraft series Mini Glimpse. As of late, the Glimpse has intrigued me to the extent of questioning a fully custom Todd Begg USA Glimpse. But of course, the six year wait is a bigger pill for me to swallow than the $5,000 asking price. I understand with the extensive work of 40 plus man hours put into every fine little detail, mirror finishes by hand, seamless material transitions with all hand ground and hand rubbed blades. Polishing up to a half micron grit coupled with Todd Begg's perfectionist attention to fit, finish, and every little meticulous detail warrants the $5,000 take home ticket. And I don't believe people will be standing around six years for an unproven product. With all that being said, I went with the Steelcraft series momentarily, which I believe was created in part to keep up with the daunting and ever-growing demand to own a Todd Begg knife. Prior to this production by Riot Knives, the Glimpse was only offered in this size via a fixed blade and the Fricky, or Begg friction folder. Now let's take a quick look at the specs of the Mini. With a blade length of 3 inches and a cutting edge of 2 and 3 quarters of an inch, sporting a hand rubbed satin finish common on Riot blades with a continuous sweeping drop point style comprised of S35 VN blade steel. And you can clearly see the different striation direction from the bevel down to the MG's hollow grind and even apparent along the flat which is where the signature Todd Begg fluted fuller rests. Finished in a black coating, this feature is a must have on all Todd Begg knives in my personal opinion. The handle is comprised from G10 with carbon fiber inlays. Handle width coming in at 55 hundredths of an inch and four and a quarter inches long, the mini glimpse comes in with an overall length of seven and a quarter inches. And just as I commonly hear and have experienced firsthand, Riot is revered as the best handle maker in the knife world. And this production stays in that same lane, if not pushing production design to its limits. This is a liner locking system, so I believe the signature fluted section that's usually found on the lock bar has been moved to the show side of the handle where it fits just as well, if not more. The inlays by Riot are unreal. Even when looking at them, it seems to be formed from one single material and painted. It's really that flush. Yet another true testament to Mr. David Dane and what his company consistently accomplishes. And to think this was released two years ago. In my opinion, this still stands strong with today's current productions and even surpasses a great deal of them. On the non-show side of the MG, Riot opted to go all the way with the full length inlay that tucks directly underneath the parameter of the titanium pocket clip. Yet another signature bag feature. Containing a black ceramic ball at the tip, and this ball also will indicate the material used in your bearing system as well as on the detent ball. Directly above the clip is the lanyard slot. And look at it yourself if you're wondering why I said that instead of a lanyard hole. The slot matches the milled out portion of the pocket clip and follows the same flow lines of the show side handle fuller. The gear style titanium backspacer is truly astonishing, yet just as functional when performing the reverse grip. Per the usual, I tried to save the best for last, the fluted fuller. And again, I've seen multiple channels say, oh, this just looks good, but it's really just for looks. Wait, what? No, you didn't do the mini like that. This, as well as my full size bodega, have the easiest deploying fullers. Perfectly tuned detent, and that lockup is solid. And again, it's Riot action. So it's very subtle, smooth, and addictive on the deployment, as well as the retractions. The blade and handle work in tandem to form a standalone look. I knew I just had to add some to my collection, and this is my start. I have never seen anything in the knife world that screams out to my futuristic, scientific, loving, nerdy side. Looks like something fresh out of that movie. You guys remember Pitch Black? Uh, horrible acting, by the way. But yeah, either way, this design is very nice in my opinion. Tell me in the comments below. What are your thoughts on the Todd Begg Steelcraft Series Mini Glimpse by Riot? Also subscribe and hit that notification bell. Please rate and share with all your knife loving friends. Signing off from the Fuller Fanatic.